All right, everybody, I want you guys to look at this photo very seriously for a moment because this photo and this scenario is not happening in the Muslim countries. It is happening in Germany. The German government, via Merkel, has given Islamic authority to have Sharia police patrol freely in Germany. I don't know if it's only certain neighborhoods. I don't know what their powers are and what their powers are not. I do know that this picture, even though it's blurry because I blew it up, isn't um, photoshopped where it says Sharia police. And the very fact that they're in Germany and the letters are in English should tell you what their intentions are. And that would be to spread to the English worlds of the United Kingdom, Scotland, Ireland, America, Canada, any place that speaks English regularly, folks. Like I said, this is not just some random situation, folks. You know, at least when Hitler was in power in Germany, his everyday citizens were decent. He'd be rolling in his grave right now. And I don't want to praise Hitler or anything, but I think there was more to World War II than what we're being told. Especially when it came to the Jewish occupations and everything else. Did he do bad things? Yes. Did they probably force some of it? Yes. But this here is very, very serious. Now, this could be one situation where, for whatever reason, their jackets came in English. I don't know the situation. Um, I do know that Pultsi or something like that would be for the Germans. Or Polizzi or whatever. Maybe I'm thinking Italian. Or Palazzi, I, I don't know. Anyways, folks, very fact that this is in English should scare the shit out of you. If Merkel has allowed it in Germany, or at least letting it go in Germany, your city council, your mayor, your chief of police probably has an order to allow it in their city and in their state and in their country as well, province, etc. So, I don't want to say that this isn't true and that this photo is photoshopped. If this story turns out to be 100% false, great. More power to anybody that can disprove it. Now, here's the situation, folks. It's coming out of WND. Sharia police free to patrol German streets. A German court has given a green light to Sharia police to pa who patrol city streets in search of Islamic law violators. A judge ruled Thursday that Salafist men who were arrested in Wuppertal, Germany, in September 2014 did nothing wrong when they harangued passer buyers attempting to enter clubs, casinos, and bars. Members of the Islamic State group, or the Islamic group, wore vests with Sharia police printed across the back and carried Sharia control zone signs. This came from BBC. These people are perverting the name of our religion, somebody said, from the Central Council of Muslims in Germany, chairman of uh, Amen A. Uh, Mayak on September 6, 2014. With this shrill and foolish action, they are really hurting Muslims. Well, you know what? Here's the situation, folks. A court allowed this. So these guys are not just wearing a vest going out at night going, Hey, you there! Stop this shit! This is against, you know, this or that. These people were allowed by a judge, folks, to do this. Now, I don't know what authorities, I don't know if these people are 
police in Germany who decided because they were Muslim, they wanted to enforce Muslim law. I, I don't know the details here, folks. But basically, you know, this is happening. And if it happens in one, and look who the fuck got Time, uh, Time Magazine, Merkel, Angela Merkel. German Chancellor Angela Merkel was deemed Time Magazine 2015 Person of the Year for her handling of the Syrian refugee crisis. Jesus Christ. Am I the only one that has that knows what the hell should be happening in this country or in, these, in this world right now? I guarantee you folks, if this is happening here, it's happening everywhere else. And it's a matter of time before we see this in populated Muslim areas, even in the United States. And I guarantee you, it's already happening in the United States. I guarantee you, a lot of it is hush-hush. And I guarantee you, your mayor, your chief, all your executives are being bribed to allow it to happen, if it hasn't happened already. I've already told you, I'm a former Dearborn resident. Okay, I lived there for 13 years. I went to school there. There was a 97% Arabic population then. When I left, it was like a 99%. So when white people did get together and celebrate something, there weren't a lot of Muslims that were around. It was very segregated, very minority rule. Maybe good, maybe bad. I'm not here to decide. And maybe that's why my experiences in Dearborn were so good. I don't know. Because there was a minority and a majority and this and that and everything else. I don't know. But going back to the Sharia police in Germany, a judge has allowed this, folks. Which means it got back to Merkel's desk and Merkel did not send in their version of the National Guard to handle this shit. So it's happening in Germany, folks. I guarantee you it's happening in the countries around Germany. I guarantee you, and I know for a fact, I have one article that says they're trying to push for it in the United Kingdom. And this is like your brown shirts. And we're seeing World War II style tactics again, folks. I would love to know how Australia and New Zealand and everybody is handling this, because I can only imagine what those boys would do with or without guns. I guarantee you that part of the world would not be dealing with this in the same way. At least I hope not. 